Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply backpropagation algorithm to update the weights in multilayer perceptron network. This is the problem definition. Assume that the neurons have a sigmoid activation function. Perform the forward pass and backward pass on the network. Assume that the actual output is uh, 0.5 and the learning rate is 1 in this case. Perform another forward pass. So this is the network given to us. In this case, uh, we have two inputs that is x1 and x2 with values uh, 0.35 and uh, 0.9. There is one hidden layer with uh, two neurons h3 and h4 and one output neuron that is O5 in this case. Y3 and Y4 are the outputs of uh, hidden unit and uh, Y5 is the output of output unit in this case. W13, W14, W23 and W24 are the hidden layer weights with the initial weights uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and 0 0.6 uh, respectively. W35 and W45 are the output unit weights with uh, 0 0.3 and 0 0.9 respectively. Now what we need to do here is uh, we need to propagate this input through this network um, by calculating the output at uh, hidden units as well as the output at the output layer. Once you calculate this uh, output we need to check uh, what is the error at the output unit and then uh, that error should be propagated back to this particular hidden units and then we need to calculate the error at uh, hidden units also. Based on this particular uh, error terms we need to update this particular weights. And then uh, we need to propagate this input again in the forward pass. That is nothing but uh, uh, perform another uh, forward pass here. Similarly, we have to do this particular uh, uh, steps again and again unless and until uh, we are happy with the error what we get at the output layer here. But in this case, I am going to show it for uh, two times. One time I will uh, propagate the input, I will update the weights and then I will uh, propagate the input through this particular network one more time. So that is uh, two times I will show here. Now uh, we will try to propagate this input uh, through the network uh, that is the forward pass here. And for that reason we need to calculate this uh, y3, y4 first and then uh, these y3 and y4 are the inputs to this particular uh, o5. Again we will calculate y5 here. Uh, to calculate this y3 and uh, y4 uh, first we need to calculate what is that called as uh, the summation term that is nothing but uh, wij multiplied by xi. Once you calculate this particular summation term we need to apply the activation function so that I will get this particular y3 and y4. Similarly uh, we need to give this y3 and y4 as the input to here and then we need to calculate the summation term and then again we need to apply the activation function so that I will get a y5 here. Now what is the activation function I am going to use? I am going to use the activation function as uh, the sigma term that is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus uh, x. In this case I am calculating aj hence it is minus aj here. So first we will calculate the value of uh, aj that is the summation term at uh, h3 that is nothing but uh, a1 here. a1 is equal to w13 multiplied by x1 plus w23 multiplied by x2 so that is the term over here so if i put those particular values i will get 0 0.755 that is uh, w13 is uh, 0 0.1 x1 is 0.35 that is the term over here similarly 0 0.8 is uh, w23 and x2 is 0 0.9 so that is what i have written here now once you get this particular a1 i have to apply the activation function so that i will get y3 here y3 is equal to f of a1 which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus a1 here. a1 value is 0.755. I will get 0.68 in this case. So this is the output at h3 here. Similarly, I will calculate the output at h4. That is nothing but a2 is equal to uh, w14 multiplied by x1 plus uh, w24 multiplied by x2. So that is what I have written here. And then I will put the values, I will get A2 as 0.68. I will calculate the Y4 by applying activation function here. Y4 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus E raised to minus A2. That is 0.68. I will get 0.6637 here. So I got the value of Y3. I got the value of Y4 here. Now I will give this as an input to this O5 and then calculate Y5 here. 
So if I want to calculate the Y5, first I will calculate uh, E3 here. E3 is nothing but uh, W3 phi multiplied by Y3 plus W4 phi multiplied by Y4 here. So I will put all those particular values here. I will get 0 0.801 as the E3. Now I will uh, put this particular E3 or I will pass E3 as to the activation function. I will get Y5 here. Y5 is equal to F of E3. That is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus E raised to minus E3. E3 value is 0 0.801, which is equal to 0.69. That is the output at the output unit here. So the output at the output unit is 0.69. Now what is the expected output? The expected output is 0 0.5, but I am getting 0 0.69. So the error is equal to uh, the expected is 0 0.5 here but i am getting a point uh, what we can say that 0 0.69 so the error will be in this case we can say that minus 0.19 in this case so this is how actually we can uh, propagate the input through the network and then we calculate the error here now once you calculate this error uh, we have to cross check whether i'm happy with the error or not if it is not we have to uh, update this particular weights in this case, I will try to update the weights and then I will try to show how can we reduce this particular error uh, over here. Now, if I want to update the weights, uh, we have to use this particular equation. That is uh, delta WJI is equal to N, that is the learning rate, multiplied by delta J, that is uh, the error term at uh, Jth unit. OI is nothing but the output at Ith unit in this case. Now, how to calculate this particular uh, delta J? Because we know the value of uh, the learning rate that is equal to 1 in this case. That is a constant value uh, we can consider for a given problem. But delta J is the error at the Jth unit. So, we have to calculate it. So, there are two kind of uh, units are there. Uh, in this case, you can see here these two. H3 and H4 are the hidden units. O5 is the output unit. So, if the J is the output unit, the delta j is equal to oj multiplied by 1 minus oj multiplied by tj minus oj that is the output at j unit multiplied by 1 minus output at j unit multiplied by target minus the calculated output at the j unit similarly if j is the hidden unit uh, we use need to use this equation that is delta j is equal to again oj multiplied by 1 minus oj but summation of delta k multiplied by wkj where k is the number of output units in this case. So using these particular equations, we calculate the delta j term. We have already calculated the output at each unit. Using those three, we will calculate the modified weight in this case. So first, uh, we will try to calculate the delta term at each and every unit. So first, we calculate the delta term at uh, the output unit, that is uh, delta 5. Because it's the output unit, which is equal to y minus 1 minus y that is the calculated output multiplied by 1 minus calculated output multiplied by what is the value we have here uh, this is tj multi minus oj tj is what the target output that is uh, 0 0.5 what we are expecting and y is the calculated output so what is the calculated output in this case is 0 0.69 0 0.69 1 minus 0 0.69 0 0.5 is the target 0 0.69 is the calculated output Hence, delta 5 is equal to minus 0 0.0406 here. Now, uh, we will try to understand how to calculate the error term at uh, H3 here. So, if you want to calculate error at H3, uh, the equation is, uh, we have to use this one, the second equation. That is, uh, delta 3 is equal to Y3 multiplied by 1 minus Y3. That is the calculated output at H3 multiplied by 1 minus Y3 multiplied by this weight, that is W3 phi and the error calculated at the output unit that is delta phi because we have only one output unit we get the summation term as only once if we have multiple number of output units i will get the summation here i will put all the values here i will get the answer as point minus uh, point zero zero two six five similarly i will calculate the error term at uh, h4 also uh, that is uh, Delta 4 is equal to Y4 multiplied by 1 minus Y4 multiplied by this error uh, weight and the error at this particular output unit. Uh, that is 0 0.9 multiplied by uh, this we have already calculated. I will put it over here. So the total answer in this case is minus uh, 0 0.0082 here. 
So what we did is uh, we calculated error at the output unit. We calculated the error at the hidden units. So using this thing, we have to modify this particular weights here. That is uh, delta WJ is equal to learning rate multiplied by delta J multiplied by OI here. So what I do here is uh, I will put the calculated values. Uh, I will show you one example that is uh, point W45. Delta W45 is equal to N multiplied by delta phi Y4 which is equal to point minus point uh, 0269. Similarly, we will calculate uh, one more. This is the delta term actually. This is not the final term. This is just a delta term. So what we do is we will add this thing to the previous weight. What is the previous weight here? 0 0.9. So to this particular previous weight, we will add this particular uh, the delta term. Uh, if I add it, I will get this particular thing that is uh, nothing but uh, the modified weight here. Similarly, I will show one more that is uh, W14. W14 is equal to N multiplied by delta 4 X1. Uh, that is uh, 1 multiplied by uh, the delta 4. We know that value delta 4 somewhere we have calculated it. This is the delta 4 value multiplied by 0.35 that is X1. Uh, the delta term what we get here is or we can say that the increment or a decrement we will get is uh, minus uh, 0.00287. Once you add it to the old value, I will get the modified weight here. So this is the modified weight. So this is how actually we can calculate the modified weights in this case. I have shown to uh, this uh, 0 0.9 is modified to 0 0.8731 and this uh, 0 0.4 is modified to 0 0.3971 in this iteration. Similarly, we have to calculate all the modified weights here. So once you calculate this particular modified weights, you can see here uh, WJI is calculated for every combination and then uh, we have got this particular updated the WJI by adding this particular delta WJI to the old value. Now uh, once you get this particular updated values so for all the weights, uh, we uh, the network looks something like this. You can see here uh, W13 is equal to 0 0.00991. Uh, W24 is equal to 0 0.5926 and so on. Again, we need to forward uh, pass this particular x1 and x2 forward through this network and then we need to calculate the output. Uh, if the output is uh, uh, correct or acceptable, we can stop here. Otherwise, we need to f uh, use the same process like uh, calculating the error at each uh, neuron, updating the weights and then uh, passing this particular input forward through this network. The same process has to be followed again and again in this case. So first uh, what we do is uh, we try to calculate what is uh, Y3, Y4 and uh, Y5. Uh, Y3 if you want to calculate first we need to calculate the summation term and then we need to apply this activation function again here. So we have this value so we've calculated uh, Y3 is 0 0.6797. So previous value was 0 0.68 now it is modified to 0 0.6797. Similarly we calculate uh, the Y4. First we calculate the summation term and then we use this activation function to get this particular value. Now the modified uh, Y4 is 0 0.6620, previously it was 0 0.6637. Uh, we calculate the output at the output layer uh, which is equal to 0 0.6820 here, previously it was 0 0.69. Once you do this particular thing, we try to calculate the error here. So error in this case is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.6820 which is equal to point minus point 0.182 in this case. Now, in this case, I have shown only two forward passes. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, uh, if you are not happy with this particular error, uh, you have to do this uh, thing again and again, like uh, modifying the weights and then for uh, passing this particular input to forward through this particular network and so on. So in this video, I try to explain uh, how we can apply back propagation algorithm uh, in a multi-layer perceptron network so that we can update the weights uh, until uh, we get the acceptable uh, output in this case. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.